Because yeah, take care of it. Yeah. Be good. But not at the expense of human beings. That he's promised We're not to supposed to worship the, liar. the earth. There is only no one way in no, which God can forgive to only the guilty. God. And, and the Bible true. says that we're supposed and to love God and, and love our fellow man. That's the, the Ten Commandments that are brought down to two. Love God. And you don't have any problem with that, I'm sure. No, but What's it's wrong why, then, why, you can't love, why you can't love the earth. You can't love the plants. You can't love the animals. But, but the, difference between, the difference between plants and animals and man is that we God has borne witness God to this truth. We Jesus were Christ said, I am the way. We have be a relationship. Be Think like about this. No one can you and I both know that me. man and animals are different. The only animals way don't sit God around can love talks us about philosophy. is because they're, he poured out his hatred. Yeah. For sin on two God made the animals for us. The Bible says that God demonstrated his love to us. We have the ability to step outside of, outside of ourselves and reflect about. And God therefore yeah, demonstrated his hatred all, of all the evil and love in, of in, his people. In, in one way we are, because we're all made in his image. And his you are a child of, of Christ. Of, not a child of God, but you are created word, in his image. It is you're a reflector of Jesus the image of God. Meaning, you're a creator. You create. And man, stands, look, at, look at these women. We create just like God did. But we have been dead in our spirits because you and I were born dead. And I think if you're honest, yeah. You, 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 you and admit. the only way you lied, that he can like punish sin and forgive you like is through the death and suffering of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, if you've looked Jesus at a woman Christ, and lusted in your heart, you've you committed adultery in your heart. If you've, ang- if you've been if angry with a word, friend word or an enemy, you've committed murder in your heart. It's a heart of the law issue. We're corrupt. We're no matter how good we try to be, we're corrupt. All our righteousness. And all I'm saying to you is, there's nothing we can do to save ourselves. That's not even our evil. Our good is evil. We can't evil. make enough because money. We can't. We can't. We can't. There's nothing to do. You cannot redeem but God yourself said, from your sins. God is a holy God. He's perfect. He's perfect. He's perfect Jesus judge. Christ We've sinned. Died. God is perfect. Was buried and rose from the dead. And God has fixed the day. God is going to return and judge the world in righteousness. If you murdered somebody, you went to. Suppress there would be a judge there. You know, Where do you think the concept is? But humble yourselves, justice. because God resists the proud, and if in your pride you mock and turn, God is a just God. God. That concept wasn't just abide. developed by man. No, we're going to have a judge. No, God was the ultimate and judge, Jesus, and He instituted rules and laws guilty. and man for we're society to get along with each other. And God one of them is justice. And and what is justice? For Taking care of the we poor. Are saved in him. Making there sure that no everyone is treated fairly. If someone breaks Christ. the law, they're supposed no to be disciplined and punished in the court of law. God is the ultimate judge. And when God you face him, when you die, you face him, he will judge you. And if you say, I was a good old so boy, I, was, I did this, he's going to say, you've fallen short, you have sinned, you have, sinned. You have broken the law, you've lusted, you've stolen, you've coveted, you've had adultery. You and I have done all those things. And then the question is, are you guilty or innocent? Are you guilty or innocent? And God asks you the question, did you break any of the law? Are you guilty or innocent? I like that. seems like a far out concept. You know why it is? Because you've never been exposed to it. And this Jesus is right now, God Come to me. brought you here Jesus to hear this conversation. All you who are weary and heavy laden, I will be your rest. He will not cast out any of you. Some far off. Jesus Christ has done no one in my fear. Someone faith. might say, but I've done too I'm much wrong. I've studied for I've years done too and years. much evil for years and years and years studying. I want to know the truth. This is a, not just a heart, it's a heart issue, but it's a, it's a thinking issue too. And it is exactly your sin that qualifies you to come to him for forgiveness. If you were not a great sinner, you would have no need of a great savior. So don't let your sin keep you from coming Christ. It's the very ground on which you're supposed to come to Christ. Where's our hope? It's the very thing that qualifies you to if come you're gonna to put your hope in the is your unrighteousness. You're if you are righteous, you have to I think you can not only work on yourself. But the Bible says there is not change righteousness. Not so I can't even one. Okay, okay. okay. You can't. Ladies and gentlemen, the only way you can work for yourself is to have 
is for God's chance outside of yourself. Because let's face it, right near today, you can only choose the stuff that you choose yourself. You would do it. He's mighty. And it doesn't feel. He is Lord in salvation. But if you, you know what? I, I can relate. Whenever, whenever anyone shares some foreign idea, the first, my first impression is to reject it. It, it goes against my thinking. It goes against my conventional worldview. I have a worldview. And when you bring a different worldview in, I want to go, I don't believe that. But the truth is, we tend to believe what we want to believe. Think about Bring that. Your sin. If I tell you something that you agree with, you're going to agree. But if I tell you something, it could be the truth. But it, it goes against what you Trusting believe, Christ you immediately alone. reject it. And all I'm asking you to do don't is, is just don't reject it. Whether that say, be your what good if? works, which is a what false if? humility, it what is an unrighteousness. It is a great what unrighteousness. And to Read the Bible. Pray. Say, Lord, if you're out there, if there's a God out there, a personal God, not just some foreign, outside power that is not personal, it's just it's wickedness. but a Great. personal God Great. can do Do not God. trust that you're good enough and an insult the son the Father loves and send God for the wickedness. You and said don't a lot of good things your about sin. knowing and yourself, you're about loving your heart. Because the Lord's like, arm is not short sure really to save you. It is mighty. And your sin is what qualifies you for grace. But you don't have How would you know how to love? I'm not sure Repent the love sin. Right. Believe yeah. in the gospel. What shall it profit you in the whole you world? You don't have that personal relationship soul. with the personal God. For God so loved the world. The only way you can do that is by repenting. Christ. Turn away. Humble yourself. His son. Humble yourself. That all who believe in him would not perish. You will not perish if you come to him. But if you don't, you most certainly will. Just as certain as the promise stands of grace by faith, the promise stands of wrath for sin. Show me about your son Jesus Christ. This resurrection is not only evidence that you can forgive, it's evidence this, that this you will be our judge if we don't. Was a divine point. Let me give you a. Let me give you a little book. We're going to be here. Look, sir. Now, not crazy people. We're here because we believe and we know this is the truth, and we want people to know before they die the truth. Because once they die, here's another interesting thing. People ask me, hey, what happens to the, the, the little boy in the jungle that's never heard of him? What happens to him? Every single human being on this earth will be given an opportunity. It may be out in the jungle, it may be in a conversation, but every human being will be given the truth and the knowledge of God. God will give man multiple, multiple opportunities. And the men that turn and reject that truth will go to hell and burn forever and ever. For those that turn towards him and say, I believe, will have eternity with God in heaven. Because you are eternal, I'm eternal. When you die, you don't die. Your body dies, but your spirit and your soul will die. Do you actually think that all, all other religions are wrong and not communities? Any, any well, I, I, I happen to enjoy philosophy. I don't know if you study philosophy at all. Study it. But, but there's a, in logic, there's a, there's a law called the law of non-contradiction. And what that law says is that if you have two statements that completely oppose one another, that contradict one another, they can't both be true. If I say to you, uh, you have a crossbow. And then I stand over here and say, you don't have a crossbite. They both can't be true. Both can be wrong. I could say you have some other bite. And, you know, two statements could be wrong. Both statements can't be true. Why? Because they contradict each other. It's the same thing with religion. You can't believe that all religions are true. Because they contradict each other. Jesus Christ, and if they were all in, some truth, in the name of the Father, the Son, Absolutely. the Holy Spirit, the religion that says, I am the Word this of is God. The well, let me ask you this. The Word of the One You're right. and yeah, Holy right. let me, let Living me ask you God about this for a has revealed Himself How often through the Holy Scripture, the, the Bible. It is the only revelation of the only God. They, and, and we know the from the Bible that in the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth and created Adam and Eve, the serpent 
the Bible is the word of God. The devil and his demons, the devil and his demons and are in this world. God has shown Spiritual. himself he and revealed himself the truth. He took the truth of God. God said to Adam and Eve, do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You can eat any other tree, but not that tree. So See, when Satan talked to Adam and Eve, he said, that he gave his son, he gave his son, friends, that whoever believes upon him shall not perish in hell, but have life eternal. And many people here in Wales believe in a God. But is it the one true living God? The scriptures say the devil and his demons believe in God and tremble. There is only one God, thus saith the Lord, and there is no other God besides me. And God demonstrated his love his love in that while we, me, were still sinners, Christ Jesus died for the ungodly. And God's love, the only God, extends no further than the cross of Calvary. And it is a great salvation, friends. It is a great salvation. It is a costly salvation. That God the Father put His Son on the cross for you, my friend. In order that you might have forgiveness of your sins and your wife and your son. For without Jesus Christ, you have no forgiveness of sin. The Bible says, without the shedding of blood. There is no remission of sin. And eternal life is only found in Jesus Christ and Him alone. For God gave us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life, but the wrath of God abides on each and every one of you. You see, many people here believe in a God of love, but a God only of love does not exist. God is also a just God, a righteous God, a merciful God, a God of reconciliation.